My name is Desiree McNeil. You impressed us. My name is Michelle Nowacki. My name is Brandon Up. My name is Jamie Petteroff. I've been at Greentown for 31 years. This is my 31st year. 13 years. For 12 years. 11 years? For eight and a half years. When I first moved to the U.S., I worked for a couple of Greentown families and eventually my son got into Montessori and that's how I discovered Montessori. I first discovered Montessori when I was in eighth grade because my cousin Erin works at uh, Greentown Montessori School back when it was at the church. I started working at Greentown the beginning of 2006. I discovered Montessori in 2009 at the University of Washington's campus in Seattle, Washington. I was tangentially aware of Montessori thanks to a, a philosophy of education course. Uh, I really didn't learn about Montessori until I came to Greenville. I was talking with a person once, waiting online, and we were talking about education. So I asked him, where, oh, where did you go to school? And he went to a Montessori school. I decided I would go back to school and do more training, so I took six courses and I did a year internship at Greentown. <laughs> I think that Montessori is so much about being present and in the moment. These kids that are here in ADM anyway are here and there's not a single screen in the room the entire time. The things that they're doing are intentional, the things that they're doing are important in the moment. If you eat, you gotta clean it up. You know, if you're hungry, you should eat. Learning those kinds of skills is a very large part of my story. Uh, I want people to understand there's a big peace element to this world of Montessori. I think it's really great for everyone on the planet just to stay kind and calm during times like this. What I want people to understand about Montessori is while it was created back in the early 1900s, it's sort of been a key factor in the success of education. The path which education is taking all adds up to what Montessori already told us in her practices and in her teachings. Collaboration, risk taking, hands-on learning, um, asking questions. You know, it's a way of life. It's basically how you raise your children. You need to raise them to be independent. You know, teaching children to take care of themselves and the environment and to be kind to each other. And you know, they eventually grow up to be awesome people. I think it's important to understand that it is a lifelong process and we're, giving, we're helping children develop skills they're going to need for their life. It also gives the children a sense of community. The older children help the younger children. They get a sense of sharing and compassion. We follow the child and the teachers observe their personalities, their tendencies, their talents and special gifts. Braintown is special because it truly really feels like a family here. There's a lot of collaboration between all the teachers, but just not with, not just with the teachers, but with everybody who works here. It is like a family away from my family. Lots of love and support here. I give it, I receive it, so that's what's special to me about it. Besides the children, I think we have a wonderful staff. I can always go to a colleague for help, or ideas, or help with problem solving. And it, you know, a lot of people have been here a long time. I think maybe the thing that's made Greentown stand out to me uh, is a long history of commitment to Montessori. There, it's just been happening a long time here, and uh, it deepens every year. For me, what makes Greentown special is family, the connection families make when they come to Greentown. I feel like, you know, it goes on forever. I've known families that, you know, the children was in Greentown and the kids are in college right now and the families are still close. So for me, it's about that connection that they make when they're here. Many varying awesome, oh, let me start again. <laughs> <laughs> special for me. Hello. Like I said, everything is editable, so. Oh, ah! oh let me fix my hair. <laughs>